Hi, Jeep Jamboree fans. Uh, this is Pierre Sumala, Vice President and General Manager of Jeep Jamboree USA. We had uh, come out the other day with a survey, which were the top three mistakes people make when modifying their Jeep 4x4. So we had surveyed uh, coordinators around the country, trail guides around the country, participants around the country, and we had come up with the top three mistakes that we wanted to make sure you avoided when making modifications to your Jeep 4x4. So the first mistake that came back that everybody agreed upon was that people make decisions too quickly. Um, they, the, the, many people were said people should wait, if you're new to the sport of off-roading, should wait at least a year, six months to a year, before making any modification. You want to make sure that you ask yourself the question, what's my primary use what am I doing with the Jeep vehicle? This vehicle here is one of our vehicles that we take around the country. It is a 2010 Jeep Wrangler four-door. Um, we only put a slight modification on it. We put an old man emu suspension on it. It's only two and a half inches. We keep the stock tires on the vehicle. We know that we're driving this vehicle 95% on the road and a 5% off-road. Um, so we want to make the modifications to this vehicle suitable for what we're actually doing. So you want to make also small modifications first. You can make many modifications and accessorize your vehicle without making large modifications to begin with. You can get yourself a high lift jack. You can get yourself an ARB air compressor. You can buy yourself a tow strap, CB radio. You can buy yourself a come along that can get you out of a stuck situation if you need to without a winch. So those are things you can, you can, you can modify your vehicle with that are not tremendously expensive, but you can get you out of just about any situation. You also want to ask other Jeep owners what they've done to their vehicle and why they've done that to their vehicle. So again, people make decisions too quickly when getting into the sport, and that's the first mistake they make. The second mistake they make is they sacrifice quality for cost. They will be really enthusiastic about after going to a Jamboree and they'll want to put a lift kit on their vehicle, and they'll go out and they'll buy a $500 lift kit, only to find themselves six months from now wanting to buy a $2,500 lift kit and making a modification that was more suitable to their needs. So again, you want to wait. You don't want to sacrifice cost or quality for cost. Um, you don't want to act too quickly. That's, um, that's very, very important. You know, a lot of people will say, I've always wanted 31-inch tires or 35-inch tires, and they go out and buy themselves 31-inch tires. So if you want the 35s, make sure you buy the 35s. Wait those six months and do that. The last, the third component that people make, the, the mistake they make, is they don't understand the full effects of making, a, uh, making modifications to their vehicle. So a great example of that, somebody goes out and they buy a six-inch lift kit, and they say, this is what I want to put in my Jeep, this is what I saw on somebody at the Jamboree or when I was out Jeeping. They go out and they do that, and they don't understand that they're going to put bigger tires on, which are going to lead to gearing issues that they have to change, which are going to lead to, are the axles strong enough? Do they have to replace the axles? Um, are the drive line angles have to be adjusted, et cetera, et cetera. So one modification of a lift kit can lead to a multitude of additional changes and additional costs. So again, understand the full effects of when you make a modification, what are the ramifications of that modification, and what's it going to cost you at the end result. It's usually a lot more than just the lift kit itself. So those are the top three mistakes that we found out by interviewing a lot of people around the country, a lot of experts around the country. Again. Just to recap, they're making decisions too quickly. Wait, educate yourself. Don't sacrifice quality for cost and understand the full effects of a modification when you make it. All right, we hope this was helpful in your journey in, in modifying your Jeep 4x4, and we hope to see you out in the trails.